I will now present you the new FUVE STM, a scanning tunneling microscope to have a look into a nanoscopic world. I will now show you how you install the software, uh, prepare the sample and the measurement tip and um, some parameters you can adjust in the software to achieve atomic resolution within 15 minutes. Everything you need is supplied in this aluminium suitcase. We'll now use the quick start guide to run through each step. Um, we will set up the microscope, install the software and pr prepare the sample and the measurement tip. Just plug the power cord and the USB cable into your microscope. Take the software CD and install the software on your laptop or PC system. The installation routine should start automatically on your PC. Now the software routine starts up and you um, use the next buttons to run through the installation routine. Wait until the software finishes the installation process. We are now ready to prepare the sample and the measurement tip. For this we use our toolbox for later covering of the microscope. We have that cover glass, the aluminium case we don't need no more. In this toolbox you will find everything to prepare a, uh, a fresh measurement tip and to prepare the sample. We have these tools to cut the wire. We have tweezers to handle the tip wire and the sample. We have the sample holder and our graphite sample on which we will achieve atomic resolution. This is the platinum iridium wire which we will use to cut a measurement tip. On delivery a measurement tip is already installed in the system. Nevertheless, I will show you how to prepare a fresh tip. You will use the platinum iridium wire and the tools supplied in the toolbox. Just take the flat tool to hold the tip. and the wire cutter to cut a fresh tip. Use a very sharp angle between the tools to get a very sharp tip. You have now prepared a new measurement tip. Now take the tweezer to get rid of the old measurement tip. Take out the old one. Now you take the fresh prepared tip and use the tweezers to uh, install it in the system. After you did so, we will now start off by preparing the sample. We have here a graphite sample which has a layered structure. so it is easy to peel off the upper layer of the graphite. Now take the flat tweezer and get the sample out of its box and place it on the table. Now we use some adhesive tape to peel off the upper layer of the graphite sample. Take a long stripe and put it on the sample. Apply some pressure, hold down the sample to the table with the flat tweezer tool and peel off the upper layer of the graphite sample. We will now use 
the freshly prepared sample and put it on the sample holder. Take the sample holder out of its box, out of its container and use the tweezer to put the sample on the sample holder. It has a magnetic support so it won't fall down when you transfer the sample to the microscope. When you put the sample holder onto the microscope, make sure you don't touch the tip. Push the sample into a very close distance to the tip. We have now approached the sample to the tip manually and it is very important that you only use a very small piece of wire, only about two millimeters long. Now we can use the cover glass with its magnifying lens to control the distance between the sample and the tip. I will push this a little bit further to the tip, like this. We only have a very small distance between the sample and the tip. It's uh, about a millimeter or below. We can now start up the microscope and start our first measurement with the software. It is important that you turn on the microscope just now and not before the installation process of the software. We can now start with the measurement. Now we can use the software to bring the sample towards the tip. Let's start our software. We will now use the approach panel to bring the sample towards the tip. Press the advance button. Always check the distance between the sample and the tip. In the sample surface, you will see the mirror image of the tip. When the real image of the tip and its mirror image approach in a very close distance, you can use the automatic final approach to start the measurement. The system will now drive the sample towards the tip and when it reaches its, um, its preset set point of the, of the tunneling current, it will stop further advancing and start the measurement right away. Now the approach procedure is done and we can start our measurement. Confirm the dialog by pressing, pressing OK. We now see the sample surface scanned in the imaging window. You can adjust the image size of, of your image, the scan speed, and the resolution this, and the image is taken with. Now we see the sample surface. To adjust the tunneling current um, flowing between sample and, uh, and the tip, you can use the set controller panel to adjust the set point and the loop gain. For further assistance on options you can use on, on the measurement, please refer to the handbook. You also can open up the handbook by clicking the help dialog and clicking on the the manual for the scanning tunneling microscope. You can adjust these uh, parameters if you open up the options and config user interface and if you switch there to the standard level the P and the I gain will appear in the Z controller panel. You have now the possibility to adjust these parameters to increase the image quality. Now we have finished our first measurement. In addition to the normal imaging mode, we also can do spectroscopy measurements in the nanometer range. 
if you have your own samples, you can, uh, you can put the samples on the spare sample supports supplied in the package. In general, make sure the setup of the microscope is on a very stable and steady table. This will reduce um, noise due to um, building vibrations. Now have fun with this exciting experiment. Gerd Binning and Heinrich Rohrer earned the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1986 for this scanning tunneling microscope.